Hi guys, it's been about six or seven months since I posted anything. I couldn't, it couldn't be helped. I, caretaker, I've been taking care of somebody who's become very, very ill. This will not keep going by the way, but it will go. You'll have to see what's going on here. This was a complete fluke of what happens here. That's why I'm making a video of this. I have to keep this video short because I can't be away from upstairs for very long. As a caretaker and a, and a very dear friend of mine, they have become very ill and their pain is off the hook and they have to be on pain meds precisely every certain time, four times a day, and they can barely walk two feet to a commode, which is a portable one. If they walk, try to walk to it, they probably will fall or at least they need me to help stabilize them. Um, their legs are given out completely under, underneath their weight, um, their knees, it's just, it's awful. So, and my feet earlier this summer started to blow up like balloons. I couldn't even walk down the stairways to get here. So my feet, I figured out what was going on. I had made a course correction and my feet are pretty close to normal now. So I'm fine, but I can't stay down here long periods of time, more than maybe 15, 20 minutes. And that's pushing it. Okay. So let me show you here what's going on. And by the way, if you're new to my channel, please understand you were very welcome. Nothing on my channel has ever been faked. You can duplicate anything on my channel and it'll work exactly, exactly like you see it in my videos. Other people are replicating my videos and going, wow, they can't believe it. So, and actually a gentleman here. I will put his link underneath my video here because he made an amazingly wonderful and very thoughtful video about my research and how I'm doing all of this and why you all maybe really should pay a little attention to, to what it is I'm doing. Okay, and by the way, if you're a, a long-time follower, uh, again, welcome back. So, and by the way, I'm not making any money. Uh, nobody's donating. We'll get into that in a moment. Um, and this is where we stand because I have some very bad news, but I will work around that. Okay, here's what's going on. This was an accidental discovery, okay? It's an accident, okay? So, which means I didn't do anything intentionally. I didn't use any brain power. I just, one day, I just decided to slap these on here. Let me zoom in. Okay, you see these magnets right here. Get down so you can kind of see. They're two inches long. They disappear underneath the black here because there's a, there's a ledge here. Maybe you can kind of see it. But anyway, these are two inches long by half inch across and a quarter of an inch thick. Okay, and then I have, of course, my classic, you know, button magnets, if you will. This is one inch by, by quarter of an inch and square of one inch by one inch by quarter of an inch. These are both neodymium 42 magnets, everything here. Okay, now this one happens to have a hole set in the middle on each side. Don't know what that, if that's any importance or not. Okay, so check this out. This is crazy. I mean crazy. Watch this. Okay, so first of all, let me show you polarities. As you can see, this device here works where you have north is red, green is south. See that right there? Right there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you. I press this. See this? North. And over here, north. Okay. Okay, so on this side, we have south. Okay, so there's the green one going up and blinking on and off. Okay, now watch this. This is crazy. Okay, normally when you have opposites, they should attract. And it should just suck this right on through like it has in my other experiments. Because I use attraction mode to make my wheel go. Okay, and then when you go in this direction, you have opposing fields north and north. Right? Okay, back up the video if you got lost already. But this is north, and this is north here. Okay, north and north. So they should be repelling each other with quite a tremendous amount of force. They don't. And this here, you would think, would attract each other with an enormous amount of force. because It'll just suck it right on in. It doesn't. It actually repels it. I think it might be because some of this is looping over from each side on the top. Whatever the case may be, I'm not going to try to get into all of that right now. But watch this. This is crazy. Okay, now before I demonstrate this, I want to say one thing. Sorry, guys, I got to go here. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? Well, supposedly, 
the premise behind my concept and my research is that if we can create an imbalance where one side is not equal as the other side, which means we're creating an imbalance, we can use it to cause motion. So if it was balanced, it would go like this would go like this and just find a resting spot in the middle. In fact, when I let go, it doesn't even do that. Look at that. It takes off. Look at that. Okay, so watch this. I'm going to gently push this. Remember, these are opposites. So this is south, north. You should just suck it in and really pick up speed and go on through like you see in my other videos. But watch. It doesn't do it. Watch it. I'll get a little bit more speed. I don't want to give it too much because I don't want to push it all the way through. See, I mean, it's bouncing off that pretty good now. Look how far that went that time. It still bounced back. See, I cannot get it to do that at all in this other direction. If I give it at least a little bit of speed, watch. Well, that's too slow. If I get a little bit more, watch what happens. And look, it accelerates. But if I do it in the other direction, and I'll, I'll push it hard enough so it goes past, it will not accelerate. Oops, a little bit more. Damn it, a little bit more. See, it didn't accelerate. It just maintained the same speed. But when we go this way, it will accelerate. Watch. Look at that. It takes off. This is crazy. This doesn't make any sense. Why are opposing fields cooperating to help bring it through an opposite attraction or actually repelling? It's everything's flipped backwards. So this should not be functioning like this. Look at that. And then look at it take off. It makes no sense. But yeah, if we do it this way, it won't take off. It'll just go through and kind of lazily go on and around. So I, I, this is crazy. So my thought is I will, I can afford to buy some, some of these here. So I'll buy a bunch of these. We'll put some on around the wheel. If what I'm detecting is really happening, then a few of these should just make this start going. Okay, now for the bad news. Here's what's going on. As you all know, you all know this, my magnets well, for those of you who've been following my research, some of you have been following for years, and some of you, I've learned, have watched every single video and study every video. I'm very impressed. Um, thank you, actually. Um, this here is a pinpoint gauze meter, okay? It goes to this guy right here. So you turn that on, and then we can pinpoint the gauze on these magnets. It actually measures the gauze, measures the strength, basically, of the magnet. Okay, once I got, I got the gauze meter because I suspected something wasn't right, and I was indeed correct. Each and every single magnet, none of them match in the same strength. One's like 25, 30%, another one might be 80%, another one's 60%, another one's 40%. There's no uniformity anymore with my magnets, which explains why. If you go back a year or two or three, um, you'll discover my wheel is going. And then it starts to slow down, and it passes over some of these magnets, whichever ones they were, and it just suddenly wants to stop, and then it does stop, okay? What happens is that it's like, like a dip in a road, if you will, you know, where it's like a pothole, or, or like a hill, like you got a hill up here and a hill over here, but there's a dip in the middle. Well, that's what happens here. You get a dip in strength, and so the wheel would stop in that dip, and it wouldn't go anywhere, uh, keep going. I did not understand that's what was going on at the time. I just didn't know that. That's why I got this to figure out what was going on, and now I have figured it out. You just put this where you want to put it, and it'll measure everything exactly. That's why it says pinpoint. I can actually measure the corner of these magnets precisely, sometimes with little teeny-weeny variations from one corner to another corner, which is interesting. Okay, so I have to replace all of these, and there's a whole lot more over here that I have to replace, as you can see. There's a whole boatload more here. Whole boatload more. I mean, there's, there's a lot of magnets here. So, anyway, um, I don't have the funds to do this because I'm on a fixed income. That's why I was trying to raise money, not knowing that I was going to have to rebuy all of this. This is probably four to six hundred dollars worth here and across the room there. Everything I got to replace. Okay, so I started my uh, GoFundMe, and um, it didn't do very well at all. Uh, people just don't believe in my research is what's going on. So I have to get something up and running, and people go, oh, my gosh, yeah, let's give this guy some money. Well, okay, I'm caught between a rock and a hard place on that. It's called Catch-22. So if that's what you're all going to wait for, then it may be a year or two before I get back to this project if I'm still kicking, if I haven't kicked the bucket. And by the way, a few of you said, 
be sure to say in your videos, you would never kill yourself, you never commit suicide. Guys, I would never, ever, ever, ever kill myself or commit suicide in any form, means, or way. I wouldn't. I would never do that. Okay, so with that said, uh, my PayPal, uh, my, I'm sorry, not my PayPal, my GoFundMe is it's just, it's a failure. The $120 or $125 that's in there, I haven't spent it. So for all of you who donated, I haven't spent it. I still have it. But I'm no money's coming in anymore. So some of you, though, are very financially well off. I mean, very well off, maybe millionaires. And funding me $800 or $25, even $3,500 is nothing to you. Nothing. It's a drop in the bucket. And because I really am on something, if you and whoever, and a few of you can just maybe each drop 2500 or something like that, you would be instrumental in making history here because what I have here, and if you go back and check my videos, what I am doing really truly works and I am on to something because this opens up the door once I get this running. Once you defy Newton's third law of motion, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction, which I have. I've defied that law. I have videos that proves it. I'm surprised they haven't been taken down. And by the way, I now have had 22 videos of mine taken down off of YouTube. So it, YouTube is still, still very much following me and watching me and taking my stuff down. But yet other channels and other videos that seem to be a little bit more impressive than mine, they stay up. So I'm being followed and specifically targeted. And I've learned a lot in the last six or eight months about different branches of government who follow different channels and give orders to have certain videos taken down. And apparently that's what's happening to me. Okay, this video is already starting to get long. I'm about ready to run out of memory here. My phone memory, you know, even my own memory. <laughs> okay, so I'm excited about all what's going on. I have to get new magnets. I will purchase these and we'll see what happens here. But this is just crazy. This should not be working. Opposites are supposed to attract and work really well. And then uh, uh, opposing fields should not be encouraging to come through because this is an opposing field when it comes this way. And it comes through nicely and accelerates. But yet here's opposite fields when I go this way. Uh, and see, it didn't even accelerate at all. But it did make it through because I pushed it a little too hard. See, look how far I can push that in and it still bounces back. I cannot do that in the other direction. It will not happen. It will not work. See, it just wants to come right on through. Okay, but do it back the other direction. It almost went through. Okay, you see here? So we have more energy going this way than we have counter energy, which means we have what? Net gain. So I'll get some more of these and we'll see what happens. And the whole premise behind my research, and I'll put the link below, is that we have more attraction than we do subtraction, if you will. We have more force than counter force. Uh, we have more action than counteraction. Watch my videos. I've proven it. I've proven that the third law of motion is not true and correct for everything. There are exceptions. And these kind of magnets, kind of technology did not exist when Isaac Newton was given those, that thought of mind. Right, I'm pretty sure it was Isaac Newton. If it's not, I'll make a correction in the, in, the, uh, in the description. Guys, thank you. I'm out of here. I'm almost out, completely out of memory now on my phone. Take care. And thank you so much for listening. And please, some of you who are really financially well off, please donate to my, my, my GoFundMe page so we can really get this off the ground quickly. I'm not getting any younger either. I really am not. I'm starting to get up my years quite substantially. You all guys don't really know how old I am. So at some point, I really am. I'm just, I'm just going to kick the bucket because I am getting old. Um, so, and then somebody else will have to pick up the torch and run with it. By the way, some people have replicated my work with amazing results and they're blown away. So, Replicate my uh, replicate my research if you don't believe me that this actually works. Just duplicate it. Don't leave me some stupid comment. This is fake. I don't fake anything. Guys, with that said, I'm out of here. I've been asked a few times to do a video about James Roney's staters. For that matter, James Roney himself has suggested I experiment with his staters a time or two. It's been on my to-do list for a while, and it's probably a bit overdue. Real quickly before I get into that though, 
If you haven't already subscribed to my backup channel, you can get to it at the URL above. If anything of importance ever disappears off this platform, look for it there. If you haven't visited my other YouTube channel that features interesting topics that wouldn't fit the subject matter of this one, I invite you to do so. And for my more controversial videos, visit me at the URL above. Also, if you aren't already a subscriber of the James Roney Staters channel, I recommend it. He does some interesting research there, and you can learn much more about his shielding techniques from him directly. I've never had any doubt that these staters work exactly the way James Roney says they do, as I've worked with shielding to some degree in past projects, 